Okay guys, so I've got everything set up here. I've got my <laughs> scale, I've got my UV light, I've got my caliper, I've got my diamond selector too, and I've got the watch, right? So this is the review of this Shearwatch.com, their first ever diver, the Shear Sempurna. Let's cue the intro. Assalamualaikum man, hello YouTube, my name is Nor Muhammad from Anywash and I'm back with another watch review. Okay, so this time around the subject for today's review is this Shearwatch.com, a brand, a micro brand from Malaysia. This is their first ever uh, diverse watch. This They're calling it the Sempurna, soon to be launched on their website Shearwatch.com. Right, so uh, let's do a quick wristwatch check. Today I am wearing my... Saint Martin or Saint Martin, whichever you want to call it. This is the SN0068G. This is an homage to the Seiko um, 6105-8000 series. So a very, very awesome. I, you know what? It's just an awesome watch. Awesome loom, awesome build quality. And you, do, you guys know Saint Martin. They produce tons of good watches, right? So I've done a full review for this particular piece, and I've put it on this awesome looking um vintage or distressed italian leather strap from vario singapore right so let's get back to the watch in question so i've done a video and unboxing video for this particular piece and in that video i mentioned that i've i've been in contact with the owner or the partner one of the partners of sharewatch.com mr jason he sent me this prototype for review and i don't get to keep it mm. <laughs> no that i will not I, and then they they so far they haven't promised me to send me the photo the mass production version but you know what i just wanted to support my local brothers uh in this uh, watch journey so yeah that is why i wanted to review it and i believe that this is the first youtube i am the first youtuber ever to get to review this watch so yeah that's it that is a good thing right right so let's do the quick dimension right so let's bring on my caliper so the diameter of the watch is i think it is supposed to be 42 let's just check it out yeah 41 point let's just call it 42 and the luck to luck right the luck to luck of about 48 right so very very nice and compact and in a thickness of under 13 millimeters uh, so 13 millimeters so at about 12.6 or 12.7 depending on where you wear it so 12.7 millimeters and a lug width of 22 millimeters so very very nice size right so let's do a let's check if this thing how much does this thing weigh on this uh, rubber strap that i've put it on of course it didn't came with this uh, strap this is my own strap but it came on this uh, nice silicone thick quite a thick and chunky silicone strap with a uh, sheer buckle here sheer sheer logo buckle here sign buckle here right so let's just put it at the back and we just just measure it together with this with my strap and see how much it weighs so that is about 101 grams so almost 100 grams but the owner jason told me that this one all right so this one will be launched together with a bracelet right so he showed me the design so it was a some kind of an oyster type uh, design of uh, oysters design strap uh, bracelet so it tapers from 22 here and tapers down to 20 millimeters so yeah that is very very nice all right so so what do you get in the box i showed you the box right so the box is uh quite a, a huge box very very nice presentation box and this is the sheer a warranty card and it mentioned here three years warranty wow so that is very very nice and this is the card that you're gonna get so jason ting david the david ting and also ent so these guys are the co-founders of the company right so so what do i think about this watch after just about maybe what one week and a half wearing it's about 10 days wearing it so i think it is an awesome watch because we're going to get into the a few little a, a few more details later on yeah right so let's go with the uh, bezel first so this features a 120 clicks bezel insert so you can see that this is featuring a ceramic bezel insert with just a minimal minimal marking on the uh, on the bezel right so when i ask the jason hey what is your target for this particular watch so they say that this is a minimalist diver 
they are not going for a professional diver that is why you don't really see any additional markings on this vessel so that is why they are going for a minimalist diver so sort of some dressy diver kind of thing yeah but if that's your kind of thing so yeah maybe you would be interested in this one but it has still has a quite a nice rotation rotate rotation sound to it the bezel clicks very very nice and you can see that they have this um coin bezel insert oh sorry coin uh, side oh come on focus focus nope not getting any come on come on yep there we go so we have a very very nice grip because we have this coin uh, bezel right so very very nice rotation you can see the crispness of the uh, click it is 120 click and it somehow is not aligned right so they are going to fix that in the actual mass production version and yeah that is a bit of shame but yeah still uh, they will be fixing it All right so again uh, ceramic bezel insert with this minim minimalist marker and a minimalist or min <laughs> minimalist dial here right so here we have this blue what do you call this fume or gradient blue so we have this dark blue is in the middle and uh, uh, a much darker darker maybe a black hue to the dial so let me just uh, oh come on i don't want to hit the uh, camera so you can see that when i play with the lights so it is somehow it turns dark some area you can see that the blue there right so we have this um slanting instead of going for vertical or um uh, horizontal lines they go for a slanting lines so we have that sheer logo printed there and a automatic 200 meters or 650 feet right so very very nicely done and we have that black date wheel at the six o'clock which is my um my favorite position to have a date wheel All right so and the hour markers right so we have that uh, somewhat um I don't know what to call this oblong right oblong on and straight markers and with this double stick uh, markers on the three o'clock and nine o'clock and we have that unique shape uh, at the 12 o'clock to differentiate it and you can see that it is actually applied markers right so can, let me just zoom in a bit so maybe you can see it very very nicely applied uh, our markers and on the side of each uh, three each hour markers we have this loomed uh, loom indices as well so it is actually on a different plane it is actually on another level so it is actually at the it is on another level which is lower than the uh, hour indices right so and those are also will also be um be uh and they will be using an and an applied indices later on in the production model right so and the hands right the hands featuring this um, simple pencil hands with this uh for this mini hand and also and for this our hands we have this again pencil hand with the divider in the middle and we have that white uh white second hands which is not loom all right so it's not loom so yeah it's not really that bad but you know what let's just check out the loom and that is where we are going to use my uv light right so we gonna just give it a blast here and let's see how the loom looks like boom okay so we have a bit of light in here so you can see that we have a bgw9 and and a uh, cc3 super luminova right so this one will be applied properly in the uh, mass production of course yes you can see that oh nice very very nice loom <laughs> right so thank you very much all right so let's get uh, back light on and let's talk about the a bit about the dial right so i am not in the in the you know i don't really like this term minimalist diver so for me a divers have got to have a function functionality as well so that is why i prefer uh, watches with has that chapter ring or something to indicate the minutes right so if you are using this watch you're not gonna know whether it is um like now it's it is where it is a 10 3 minutes past 10 or is it 2 minutes past 10 it looks like it's 3 minutes past 10 so that is a bit of annoying in my opinion right so that is number one right so for that that, that is my gripe for this particular watch right for that is for the dial right so let's talk about the case the case featuring this um 
vertically uh, brush case which is very very nice and it features this drill lux i think that is awesome in my opinion and we have this quite an angular case and even though that this is a prototype you can see that uh, the some of the angles some of the angles on the watch is not as sharp as it should be so he the designer the jason mentioned that he they will be doing something about the case angles right so it reminds me this angle especially on the at this crown guard it reminds me of something that looks like this zelos right there is a similar similarity but but right but they are not the same it is not a direct copy of the zelos but you can see on this side it looks a bit similar especially on this one but the zelos has some uh, polish surface on this uh, top of this uh, this area and yeah right so that is where it differs and of course that particular swordfish is in 40 millimeters with a 46 mil luck to luck but this one is 48 and 42 right so the crown right the crown is very very nice let's see how 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 big is it the crown is actually a oh, 5.99 size i would prefer it to be in seven millimeters uh, but yeah it's okay no problem still very very nice and grippy so you can just put it like so and screw it back oh i totally forgot this one this crown also have some lumen in it guys so let's just <laughs> give it a blast and again let's check the loom on the crown boom yeah very very nicely done with that uh, s or sheer logo right nicely done loom uh, crown okay so what else at the back at the back we have a display case back and uh, um, jason mentioned that the printing or this engraving on the display case spec will be made a bit uh, thicker so that you can see properly now they have this Sampurna name they have stainless steel NH35 uh, and yeah that uh, workhorse of a uh, Seiko movement right so what else that I should talk about oh the variants right so the variant what are the other colors available for this uh, Sampurna watch so he mentioned to me that in for the time being they are planning to sell just this one variant but he also showed to me a Fume dial in red color something similar to the Zilas right so you mentioned you, you just imagine that this um, uh, red fume dial on this sheer colorway so of course i will i will put a picture here so that you can you know what you can uh, uh, have an idea of how it will it would look but please do miss do sound off uh, do um, comment in the section below if you want to get another option which is the red color version which for me looks absolutely cool all right so what else oh okay so in the production model they will be uh, like i mentioned we have that bracelet um to be thrown in so you've got that bracelet you've got that big box you've got that three years warranty so you know what very very nice um, uh, package in my opinion right but the only thing that i would want uh, here to improve is this luck width so you know what initially i thought that is it's going to be a bit too big for f because it is 40 million 42 millimeters with a 22 millimeters right uh, luck width right but after i compare it with another 42 millimeter swatches that I have in my possession. So let's just compare it with this uh, Seiko Monster. So you can see that the Seiko Monster is around this with has this roundish case case with a, a simple lug design here. But this one it has this beefy lug. So that is why I think this when you have this uh, extra metal on the lug, you somehow a 22 millimeters with would look much better and of course if you compare it to my seiko mini turtle this one is also 42 millimeters you can see how big this thing looks so that is what i think you know what after i'm i see this in the flash i i would think that the um the um the 22 millimeters would suit this watch better right so i totally forgot to talk about the sapphire crystal so this featuring a flat sapphire crystal let's just check out okay sorry about that okay so let's just check the um yep there is a, definitely a sapphire crystal on on the top of the crystal and at the back we also have another sapphire crystal so basically sandwich right send this sapphire crystal on top and at the bottom of the wash <laughs> definitely 
you know what an awesome specification for a watch right so let's talk about the price so they initially they were thinking of releasing this on kickstarter but it's quite a hassle to register a singapore uh, register a company in singapore blah 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 so that's why they are going to be releasing this on their own website which is uh, sheerwatch.com so i asked um Jason, how much is it going to be? So it's going to have that early bird price of about $250 and a pre-order price of, uh, I think it's going to be $299 and they are going for a retail price once uh, the, all the campaigns is over at about $350, I think. So there is going to be a, you know what? You know, when you are talking about micro brands, so like uh, Jody mentioned in the in some of his early videos this year, there are tons of micro brands that is available on the market right now. So for us uh, watch watch freaks or watch <laughs> enthusiasts to get into micro brand, they have to have some what do you call that uh, X factor, something that when you see it, or you're gonna say, oh man, I want I want that. All right, so there there must there must be some. A unique selling point, the USP, right? So, for example, this uh, Zilos, it has that you knew uh, the the Zilos USP is, you know what? It is value for money if you can get it to the, when they are when they are initial uh, launch for two hundred and sixty nine bucks. Its unique USP is the excellent loop, excellent build quality, excellent travel pouch and everything. So that is unique sell, selling point of the Zilos, right? So this one two hundred sixty nine dollars. Right, so what about the Seiko Monster then? Of course, Seiko Monster is legendary. Right, so this one I think uh, selling for about 300 bucks, right? And we have this uh, Seiko uh, Heimdallah selling for about $200. Titanium watch. And we have my Seiko Turtle. Seiko Turtle. 300 bucks. Of course, Seiko, you can't go wrong with Seiko, right? So what is then the USP for the sheer Sempurna. For me, I'm not gonna say that I'm gonna gonna buy this one. I, I'm I'm not gonna buy it because simply because it doesn't have that. Simply because it, the dial is not my style. But if you are into minimalist diver and you want sapphire crystal on the top, sapphire crystal at the bottom, and you want this unique case which is not an homage of anything, and you want that awesome loom and you want that awesome loom crown. And you and and the most important thing is you want to support our local Malaysian brand, yeah. This watch might be for you, right? So that's that's basically concludes everything that I wanted to say about this watch. Again, thank you very much, Jason, for letting me handle your baby, right? So I really really hope that um, you will get um, your this project will would be a success, and you would produce much much more higher quality watch and please on the next project please include the minute markers <laughs> uh, if you include the minute markers i would definitely you know, i would definitely say take my money man <laughs> right so what do you guys think of this particular watch so please give me a comment down below and if you want jason to produce the red color version of the watch please give me a please give some comments down below and if you like this video please give me a thumbs up and if you want to see more future video reviews such as this one please go ahead and subscribe to my channel until next time i'll see you soon stay safe bye bye